So you want another blinky light? Well, let's do a LAN LED. Stay tuned. For starters, you're going to need some tools to get your Xbox opened up. This includes a Torx 10 and 20 screwdriver, also a utility knife. If you need help with taking apart the Xbox, see the link in the description. As for other tools and supplies, you will need your soldering equipment, wire clippers slash strippers, a spoon or a flat head screwdriver works, assorted heat shrink and something to shrink it with, electrical tape works, just not as clean looking. You will need about a foot and a half of wire. I use some scrap wire and I believe it's 22 gauge. A resistor, I will be using a 470 ohm 1 4 watt. An LED, I'm using a white 3 millimeter flat top. Then something to make a hole in your Xbox if you decide to mount it that way. I manually drill out my hole with some small trash screwdriver bits, but a drill and a small drill bit works too. Start by taking apart your Xbox. We want to get the Xbox motherboard out and flipped over. Also remove your faceplate. This can be done easily with a spoon or flathead screwdriver. As you can see, I have to keep my pieces close to each other since it's all connected because of my hard drive activity light. The point you want to solder to is here. This will go to your negative leg on your LED. You will need to determine how much wire you will need to get it to your mounting point. Now take your LED and resistor and solder your resistor to the positive leg of your LED. This will be the long leg. Then take another length of wire and solder it to the resistor. Be sure to implement heat shrink to avoid shorting. Next, solder your positive side wire to a 12 volt source. This can easily be found on your motherboard power connector. It's always the yellow wire. I just splice mine into my source wire that is going to my hard drive activity light. As always, be sure to use heat shrink. Take your wire that you connected to the pin on the bottom of your motherboard and connect it to your negative leg of your LED. Depending on where you're mounting your LED, go ahead and make your hole. Again, I use some old small Phillips head bits to manually drill the hole. I do this to avoid accidentally making it too large. If that happens, you can always just get a bigger LED to remedy the problem. My LED fits nice and snug. From here, it's just putting your Xbox back together, plugging it in and enjoying your new mod. Mine came out stupidly bright, and I personally don't care for it much. To dial down the brightness, you could use a larger value resistor, or even a potentiometer. Anyways, thanks for watching. If this tutorial helped you, please leave a like and subscribe for more modding goodness. You can follow me on Twitter for channel updates at Techno on Top. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, I will do my best to help. Still more mod videos to come, been working on one that will help complement ones I have already made and will be making in the near future. So far it's been a lot of work. And till next time, peace.